hi everyone and welcome back to my channel um, it's been quite a while since I posted my last video it was um, over a month now and that was my first video I'd done that wasn't a Slimming World or a Weight Watchers food diary um, I really enjoyed doing it and I got quite a few views on it so I was really pleased for my first video I felt like it went okay but I haven't done any since and that's simply because I feel like with the whole YouTube thing, I am kind of dipping my toe in the water. I definitely enjoy filming the videos, but I don't really know how to edit them. My other half does that, and he doesn't always have the time to do it because he works longer hours than I do. So that's kind of what's kind of put me off doing one, another one up until this point, because I know I can sit and film them, but it's then getting the time to edit them. Currently, I have two weeks filmed worth of food diaries where I was 100% Weight Watchers plan and I really want to get those edited and get them up because I think they're really good videos that show just how effective the plan can be if you follow it 100% so that's kind of something I want to do and I think I might start playing around with the um, editing program a little bit more myself and see if I can put together a video myself so I don't have to rely on him doing it and then hopefully it will mean I can get videos up a little bit more consistently and start to build a little bit more of a repertoire of videos and not just do one and then not do one for another month so moving on from that today I have a Primark haul for you and it is a Disney Primark haul there is the odd item in there that isn't Disney but it is predominantly a Disney Primark haul and I went into Primark last week and I purely went in just to see, you know, do they have any new stuff in there? I kind of like to see what they've got, keep up to date, but I wasn't really planning on buying anything. And then I made the mistake of going down to the uh, ground floor where all the pajamas are and I thought, Oh, I'll just have a look, see what new pyjamas they've got. And I went a little bit crazy, I'm not going to lie. Normally when I go into Primark, I will um, find a few things I like and I'll be like, I want this, I want this, I want that. But I'll filter it a little bit and just buy a couple of each item that I like. However, this time I seem to lose my filter and I just picked it all up, didn't even look at the price tags, got to the till, couldn't remember what I picked up and ended up buying quite a lot. So I thought, well, let's show you what I bought. Everything I bought, I have bought in the last couple of weeks, so it should all still be in Primark. Um, and a lot of the stuff, when I've been in a couple of weeks previous, they didn't have it, so I think a lot of this is new stuff. So if you see anything you like, I would say you've still got a good chance of finding it in the Primark at the moment, because I think it's all quite new. So getting onto it, I have my huge bag of Primark stuff here that I'm going to start going through. So the first thing in my bag is a bag. And I did need a new handbag and I was in Primark a couple of weeks ago and I found a bag I really liked. Um, it was a Minnie Mouse one, but it wasn't big enough for a, handbag, for, for a handbag for me. I needed something bigger and the straps weren't really long enough. So I decided not to get it. So when I spotted this bag, I immediately went over and was like, oh, maybe this could be a potential handbag for me. But then when I saw it, I was like, no, this is much more like a flight bag. Um, and obviously we are going to Florida in September. So immediately I was like, brilliant. Um, I could use that as a flight bag. I don't need a new flight bag, I have a flight bag, but I just thought the fact it was a Disney flight bag and I'll be going to Florida was really cute. So you've got Minnie peeping out of the uh, top pocket there and you've got the little, I don't even know what these things are called, they're kind of like attached and there's a little Minnie on there and even down to the zip, there's a little Minnie on the zip. Um, and I'll just show you inside, I still have all the stuff in there. But you can see it is really, really spacious. So I thought, well, this will be fantastic for the flight because I do take a lot of stuff. Should have took that out before it. Um, as you can see, it's super spacious in there and there is a strap as well. So if you wanted to carry it as a kind of longer strap luggage bag, you could also do that. But I was just really impressed with how spacious this bag was because when I travel, I don't like going on planes. I'm not a sort of, I'm nervous of flying. I just don't like the thought of being trapped on 
anywhere for nine hours so I take a lot of things with me to kind of take my mind off that and I'm thinking I am going to do a what's in my flight bag video before I go because like I said I do take a lot of stuff everything from sort of music to books to colouring books to quiz books I take all these things just to kind of keep my mind busy when I'm on the plane because I don't like just being sat there thinking I'm trapped on a plane so I thought this bag would be fantastic because it's super spacious it can fit everything I need in it and also some of Graham's bits that he'll probably want to put in there and I just thought it was really cute and this was £12, yeah £12, so I thought it was quite reasonable for a really decent sized flight bag. Next in here is actually not Disney, um, it's a pair of shorts. Now if you watched my last Primark haul you would have seen that I bought this pair of shorts in navy blue um, and I wanted to get them in black and they didn't have my size and every time I've been in I've kept an eye out and finally they had them um, in black so they're just a pair of like black material shorts and then they've got this kind of lacy crochet-y kind of um, overlay um, and like I said in my previous video I just thought they were really nice for Florida and a little bit different because all the shorts I've got are jean shorts so these were kind of a little bit different but a little more dressy than just your standard sort of cotton shorts um, and these ones were five pounds so I shall be taking those with me when I go I think I'm pretty set for shorts now because I've got all my jean shorts plus I've now got a couple of pairs of those so I think I'm pretty set for shorts uh, the next thing I bought was some socks, again they were Disney socks, so these are little kind of Minnie Mouse socks, they are called, sh they're shoe liners, so again I bought these for when I'm on holiday because I plan to wear my Disney Vans and I like to obviously just have a little, a little sock to wear with them and I don't really got many pairs of these slip on ones, I've got kind of socks but they're more sort of going up to the ankle socks, so I wanted something that was just a little bit lower um, and kind of just lined my foot a little bit. So I got some of those and they were three pairs for £2.50. Um, I also... There was some more socks in there so I thought I'd pull those out next but I can't find them so I'll just wait till I find them to go through those. Um, so the next thing I picked up was this top. Um, and it's just a sort of simple cotton t-shirt with a little Minnie Mouse head on it. And again, I just thought it was really cute and it's really um, loose fitting, which I do like. I don't like being on holiday really hot wearing tight fitting clothes. So I was really pleased with this. I thought, you know, it would just be nice and loose. Even with these shorts, I think they'd look really cute together. Um, and this little top was six pounds. So that's another one I will be taking with me. I'm now at the point where I am buying Disney tops in Primark because the stuff they've got is just so damn good but I'm like, I now have too many tops compared to the amount of days I'm going for, so I'm gonna have to do outfit changes throughout the day just so I can get in all the, all the cool tops that I bought. So the next item I bought um, was pyjamas. Now, I think there's about five pairs of pyjamas coming up, so prepare yourself. I did go a little bit mad because they had loads of new pyjamas in, and every time I go in there, I'm like, oh, I've got that pair, I've got that pair, oh, I haven't got that pair, I'll buy that pair. So um, I got really excited because it was loads and loads of new pairs of pyjamas, and I need to reorganise my pyjamas because they're now spilling out the drawers, and I've got them in Graham's pyjama drawer, and I've got them in the ottoman where we keep all our bedding. There are just pyjamas everywhere, and I need to kind of scowl down the pyjama collection, but they're just so good, so I don't want to. So the first pair I picked up were these uh, Mickey Mouse ones. Now, these didn't look quite as fitted as the normal pyjama pants I've been buying in there, the ones that are kind of a bit more like a legging. These look a little bit more of a kind of looser tracksuit bottom type bottom. Um, so they've got the little cuffed ankles which I like because I hate wearing pyjamas that don't have the cuffed ankles because they rise up when I'm in bed. And you've got Mickey on there with some little hearts and diamonds and stars going down. And I really like the colour pattern on these. I like the fact it was the pastel pink and the mint green. I thought that was really cute. It's got the little mint green tag and a uh, tag tie. And then going around the top there, they're almost like a little pair of, you know when you have the boxer shorts and they're sticking out the pyjamas and it just says Minnie Mouse. And I thought they were really cute and they were seven pounds, so not too bad at all. Now to go with these, I picked up the matching top and it's very similar, it's a kind of sleeveless, almost like basketball, basketball, basketball style top. 
Um, and I thought with summer coming up a sleeveless one would be good um, because I often still get chilly but I like to have like a sleeveless top so these are really cute again and again they're grey with the, the baby pink and the um, mint green and this top was £4.50 so I thought that was really nice. Um, the next set of pyjamas that I bought were also um, Minnie Mouse and I think they're kind of interchangeable between the two because if you see these were a pair of shorts so these are obviously a lot more summer. Um, they're little tiny shorts, they're nice little, that soft toweling kind of material, if that's the right word, it's kind of like you know your, your classic pyjama bottom kind of toweling soft material. And again, you've got your pink, whites, mint greens, and you've got the same little Mickey head as on the other ones. Um, so you can see that you can easily interchange these and wear like this one together. And the top that I picked up to go with them was this kind of white t-shirt. And it says, never stop dreaming. And again, you've got Mickey on there, Minnie on there, should I say. Um, and like I say, it's completely, you can tell they're really interchangeable. Um, and I suppose they're made to wear like that. So you could wear this one with the long sleeve one, so I thought they were really nice, um, and the shorts were £4, and then the little white t-shirt top was £5, so I really like them. Next up, I got these um, princess pyjamas. Now, I already own Disney princess pyjamas from Primark, but I couldn't resist these ones, um, and I thought they were really cute, because again, I'm loving the colour palette that Primark have got at the moment. I guess it's really kind of spring. It's the baby pinks and the baby like mint greens and I love that kind of um, pastel colour scheme that's the kind of colour scheme we're actually going for for our wedding so I love it I love all the kind of spring colours and these I thought were really cute so they are grey and white striped and it says at the top here team good and then you've got each of the princesses and what I really liked is they have a little kind of jewel embellishment on each of the princesses so there it's kind of Cinderella's um, it's her earring and then you've got Aurora and you've got the little gem on her crown and then you've got Snow and she's got the little gem on her headband and so on for all the princesses. I thought this one was really cool as well because it had Alice on it and you don't often get Alice on the Disney princess ones um, and I thought it was really cute that it kind of had Alice on there. Um, so they were really nice and then to match those I got the top and again it's similar principle. It's grey t-shirt, it says team good and you've got all the princesses again with the little gem embellishments. They also had a team bad one, which I was very tempted to get as well, but they didn't have the bottoms in my size and I won't buy pajamas in separates, so I have to buy them together. So the team bad, I think were, they were black and they were either purple or pink kind of trims on them. And they basically had all the Disney villains on, which I thought was really, really cute again. So when I go back, if they did have the bottoms in my size, I might be tempted, but like I said, I need to kind of scale back the uh, pajama addiction. Uh, the next pair I bought, it was fine. these were the next pair I bought, so these were the Jungle Book pyjamas um, and obviously the new Jungle Book films being released so there's lots of Jungle Book stuff in Primark at the moment. Um, when I was younger my younger cousin loved Jungle Book, not the animation, the actual sort of live character action one. And so I've lost count of the amount of times we watched that film as a kid. I absolutely loved it. So I'm really excited for the new film to come out. And I really like these pyjamas. I like the fact they were kind of summery. They, again, they did have like kind of winter versions. They had the long sleeved um, tops and they had the full length pyjama bottoms in different patterns. So that they had all those in there. But I picked these up because I thought, you know, summer's coming up, something a little bit lighter. And it says, born to boogie. And I just thought they were really nice. And like I said, loads of Jungle Book stuff in there at the moment because the release of the film. And these were £8. And like I said, nice for the summer. Might be a pair I take away with me because obviously it's quite hot when we go on holiday. So they could be a good pair to take. Oh, there were these socks that I was talking about earlier. So these are very similar. They're the little shoe liners, similar to the Minnie Mouse ones. But these are Lion King. Um, again, it's three pairs and these were £2.50 so again I bought these for sort of going around the house um, and wearing in Florida when we're walking around. So the final Disney item I got, I'm actually quite surprised when I've gone through it, it's a bit lot quicker than I thought it would be. Maybe I thought I bought more stuff than I did but 
but that's still a hefty pile. But this was the final top I bought, and I loved the colour of this. Um, as you can tell from talking through the other stuff, I love the pastels. Um, so when I saw this, I thought, oh, it's a really cute peach colour. Um, it's a little bit see-through, but um, I can imagine I would wear maybe a white strap top under this or something like that. But again, I bought it holiday, and it says the bare necessities, the necessities is in gold, and I thought it was really cute. And then you've got the little Jungle Book characters on there, and it's very sort of um, soft, loose, breathable material, I think. So, like I was saying before, I do like tops um, in Primark, or tops generally, that are quite baggy when I'm on holiday. I don't like to be all restricted. So again, I thought this one would be quite a loose, baggy top. It'd be really good for holiday. So the final three items I've got in here are non-Disney related, and I was, I'm terrible. I'm one of them people who, if I meet a cashier and she's nice to me and tries to sell me something, I will buy it regardless of what it is. If I need it, I'll pick it up. So I'm by the till point and they placed all the little items around by the till point and I'm sat there picking them up, just adding them to the pile. So the first thing I bought was this water bottle and it's one of the fruit infuser bottles. Now I already have one of these, but I'm using it all the time so the little fruit infuser um, tube in the middle is getting quite lime scaly and dirty um, and when I had a, one of these previous where I was using the same bottle again and again very quickly it got quite dirty because um, they're quite you know some of them are quite difficult to clean um, so I thought I would get another one of these uh, the one I bought on Amazon was about eight or nine pounds this was four pounds in Primark so I thought that was really good um, and I just wanted a second one so I can kind of alternate between using the one I've got and this one so the other one's not getting constantly used all the time. The other one has a little bit of a leaky top as well. When I tip it, it does leak out. So I'm hoping that this one will be better, although I'm not sure to be honest, because they look pretty much identical. So I can imagine this one may be a bit, a bit of a leaky one too, but I normally just keep it at work in the fridge and then drink it when I need to. I don't really carry it in my bag so it's spilling everywhere. So I thought I'd pick up one of those at the till. And the final two items I got was the PS uh, Bronze Brick. I haven't really used that much of Primark's makeup, to be honest. Um, I've got a few of their lipstick, uh, liquid lipsticks and a few of their normal lipsticks, but I haven't really used much of their products, so I thought I would pick one up and kind of see how it was. So this was the Bronze Brick I picked up. So it's a nice kind of gold, tone I think really good for the summer and I don't to be honest I don't really bronze or contour my face but I want to start dabbling and playing with the makeup a little bit more so I thought that'd be a good one to try um, and then I also and that one sorry was £2.50 and then I picked up this one I straight away I was attracted to the tin because I thought oh it's a really cute tin it reminds me of the naked palettes um, and it's a bronze palette and again I I had a look in it and the thing that caught my eye was the eyeshadows. The four little eyeshadows here are all kind of the types of colours I like to wear on my eyes. So straight away I was like, oh yeah, I like that, I'll give that a go. Um, I haven't tried it yet so I don't know what it's like but it was £3 so if it's not great I'm not going to lose any sleep over it but you're getting four eyeshadows in there and two bronzers so not too bad for £4. £3, sorry. So that is the end of my Primark haul. I guess the last one I did was about a month away, so we could call this my April Primark haul. So I'm definitely gonna try and stay away from Primark till at least May, because I don't think my bank account can take me going in there and just keep randomly picking bits up. Um, but I really hope you enjoyed this video, and like I say, hopefully I'll be filming some more and being a bit more consistent. Um, so if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you real soon. Bye.